Oh yeah, welcome back to Frampton Forge YouTube. What I'm gonna to do today is I'm just setting up an induction heater for a customer who wants to heat rivets on site. They're not allowed to use a flame, so the contractor said he can heat them electrically. So we're gonna rig up a little crucible. It's a little leaf and hammer, look, we've just made. Come around here, look, and I'll show you. So this is one of our machines. So it's a 25 kilowatt induction forge wound at 20 to one. We've made coils for it. I've made a little, we've got a little crucible. Normally they use these for melting metal in, but what we're gonna do is heat rivets. Now the crucible's deep, so what I've done, I filled the crucible up with some refactory, so the rivets sit a little bit higher. Then we're gonna put them in there, and I'm gonna set them up on a timer, so that what we can do is we can time it, and then we'll put it on retain on a program, so it will heat the rivets, and it should hold them at heat for a few minutes. So I'll get a pair of tongs, I'm going to find the right ones. I don't know where they are. Yeah. Right, now I'll turn the machine on. I'll turn the cooler on. It's on our test rig. So we have a test rig that tests them out before they go out. So I'll turn the water cooling on. And I'll turn the machine on. I've set the program. So I've set it on heating time 8. And I've set it on retaining time at 20. So what we'll do, we'll have a look. This is the retain heat, this is the power heat. So if I put a handful of rivets in this little pot, and then we'll just see. It really needs a little stand, really. I wouldn't hold all the weight or just on the coils. Put it on a little stand or put this bit on a fire brick. And I'll put a few rivets in. If you put too many in and have the heat too long, all you're going to do is fire weld them together. But we'll have a look, and what I'll do, I'll set it off on the button, I can use the foot pedal, I'll use the foot pedal, look. And then if you look in here, look, it'll start heating him up. It's on a timer. We'll see how long, I want it a slow heat, really, rather than really, really fast. So I've turned the heat down. It's only set for it about halfway, just over halfway up. So we'll have a look, it's starting to change. Heat's coming off. Well, I'll have to turn them up a bit, we need a bit more heat. I'll try again. That's oh, getting red hot now. It's a bit of a fine limit between getting a nice heat in them and then cooking them and welding them all together. So the ones on the outside will heat up faster because they're closer to the induction coil. It might be too much um, refractory brick in there. I might have to take some out and drop them lower. I'll have a look, I'll take some of that out. I'll get a glove, I think that's too much in there. Right, well, I've lowered them in the pot a bit more, so they're more in the middle of the coils, and we'll have a look now. I've turned the heating time up a bit, it might be too much, we'll just have a look. So I want slightly more, they're nearly there, so I want slightly more heat. That looks about right now. So we get a nice red heat on the rivets. And a little pair of tongs, we can just take them out and we can rivet them in as we go. And then we can reload him. So we've got rivets there, we've heated up quite a few. If you heat too many, and then they're going to be too hot. I'll get some more cold ones. We'll see if we've got it set right. So 
I put them in cold and then I'll set him going again on the timer. We're going to need to set the time in there. Not bad. So it's just we've got 17 and 20. I'm gonna up it. I reckon about 19. I'll just try it down. Or we'll set them both equal. Let's just have a look. 20. We'll go 20, 20. I'll take them out. So not bad, equal numbers, so let's just up it a bit more. Yeah. in there now that's perfect so we've got 22 seconds of heat and 22 seconds of a retain and that's got them a perfect riveting temperature so one two three four five six rivets I wouldn't heat them anymore because you're not going to rivet them in fast enough and you'll lose your heat but they'll stay hot in there so 22 seconds on heat time 22 seconds on the retain time. I haven't set the cooling time and I've set it on automatic. The other way you can do it, set it on normal and then use it on the foot pedal and just hold your foot on the pedal until they're hot enough and not have a timer. And then you can just observe how hot it's getting and then just take your foot off the pedal when it's done. So you can do this. You can now set it on the foot pedal so it's not on a program. And then if I just do that, and I could just hold it on heat although you will heat your tongs you can move them around a little bit if one's getting hotter than the other one 
And if you look in there, you can just hold your foot on the barrel till you get the heat that you like. There you go, they look about right, you don't want them too long because they start scaling up then. So look, lovely. So there you go, easy way of heating up, no flames, so there's no fire risk on site having to have flames, so it's electrically heating and riveting. So I hope that helps you out, thank you very much. And you can buy these on our website if you look at our website, but we'll wind coils to suit anything you like. Alright, thank you.